Hello everybody, today I'm gonna continue the mist walkthrough and we are gonna be doing the stone ship world. The stone, yeah, stone ship. I think that's what it's called. But we're going here today. So let's uh, throw ourselves into this book here. It's all radiant shit. So yeah, this one is, I mean, once you know all the all the, uh, all the puzzles, it's really not hard. You know, because you know what's going on. So, as soon as we spawn in here, we got a uh, flooded area there. Flooded area right here. A key on a chain. And a locked door up here. Strange. And a flooded area right here. And if we go all the way up here. We have a telescope. And if we go over to... Okay, I guess I'm moving too fast. So there's supposed to be like a... I think that's once we light this up. Get all that done. But we'll come back to that later. So first, we are going to unlock the tower, and to do that, we got three little pumps over here, and I believe this is down by the ship, this is the whole center area, and this is the tower. So let's uh, dry up that place. Now there's a staircase down, 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 down. If we go all the way down, we have a chest. Yeah, we got a little knob right here in the chest. We cook that. Empties water out. So now it's an empty chest. I mean, there's something else in there, but... It's waterless now. Okay, hold on. So now we lock that up again. We seal it. Seal all the air inside. And by now you can probably see where this is going. That took me forever to figure out that I could seal the air in the chest. And my computer is about to burn up here. Holy crap. Jeez. <laughs> so now, we just uh, unflood this area. Or any other area. And when we head back here, look at that. It's a chest. Now we use this key. To unlock the chest and there's another key in there which unlocks that and now we can go into the very top of the watch um, lighthouse and here we have like a little wind up battery thing and we sit here and wind it up and I think when we wind it up, that is when the little light comes on at the very tip top of it that we couldn't see in the telescope at first. Holy shit, what happened? What the hell, my my game black screen for a second. The recording the recording didn't though. That was weird. Alright, so now. I mean, we already did this, but I'm just gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. So, here we go with the telescope. And, right there, right at 135. And if you notice... Just like a circle. 360 and 0 are the same. which will come in handy later. So now that we got that and got that uh, number, and this is unflooded in the center here, we can come down here. And I don't, not, don't mind that quite yet. And we have a little... And my game black screen. Okay, what the hell is going on? 
Alright. Now we got a, uh, a blue page here. And uh, this is definitely. Um, you can. I, 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 I just love this game so much. You can really tell. Like, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? They really gave each uh, each of the brothers in the book a real good personality by just the rooms they're in. So this is the blue guy's room. Got a, you know, weird masks. You know, kind of weird music, poison. A uh, human, maybe not human. Got bones. And we got this little gem. Oh, hang on. Flower turning into a skull. Impressive. And we have... Just drawers of maps and... Other worlds, I'd assume. And when we go down... We get half a letter. And keep this in mind for the end of the game. Marker switches. Each of the marker switch, turn every one on position. That's just something to keep in the back of your head. Okay, can I get this last drawer? Even though there's nothing in it. Alright, so that is the blue guy. The blue guy's page and some other uh, stuff. Jeez, my I don't know why the hell my computer can barely handle this game sometimes. Right, so now we have another area where we can go into. Another thing like that. And this is the red guy's room. Jewelry, coins, a bunch of fancy stuff, books, and his red page right there at the bottom drawer. Yeah, so the Pointless, but okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Is that? Well, that was a needle. I thought that was like a dagger. That's it's a it's a needle, which is somehow worse. Can I read that stuff? Anyway, so yeah. Red guy isn't all good either. Although the blue guy does seem a little bit worse at the moment. So now, let's investigate this little thing. And... Looks like we have a little compass here. Which happens to be, like, the uh, telescope up there. So yeah, the number was 135. And I believe... Uh, boy. The, each one of these little knobs... I think it's 36. Well, hold on, let me... Let me do some calculating right here. I, I'll just count this out then, quick. Okay, so it's 32 knobs. 32 knobs around here. Which, if we take the, uh... 360... Divided by 32, we get 11.25, which makes no sense at the moment. But if we take 11.25 and uh, divide that by 135, the number we got up in the telescope, that is the wrong way. Uh, we get 12, which just happens to be a completely whole number. 
when we're dividing fractions and stuff. So, that can only mean one thing. This is 12. Do not count this as 1. This is 0. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there we go. If you fail that, you're the, all the lights are going to go out. And you're going to have to go restart the battery. Recrank it up. But that's how you do it right. So now, that is uh, just about this. Is, yeah, that's the entire world complete. All the puzzles, all the little things. My computer is still dying. And now all we have to do is find the book back to Mist Island here. Which is in the only place we did not unflood yet. Which is the boat. Down here. Let's head down here. And we go right up to this table. Click on it, and the book materializes out of the wood. And we're going right back to Mist. And when you're done with all that, and you go back to Mist, you can go back in the world and everything will be right there. You can just go back and forth. Go get the pages quick and all that stuff. So yeah, that was uh, the Stone Ship World, I think it's called. I believe this is the ceiling. Yeah, that's the ceiling of the uh, library. Yeah, library. So yeah, that was uh, pretty easy. So next time we will go back. Go go back. We will go to the mechanical age and finish that up, and then continue on. I think I will do the. Uh, I think I'll do the final video where we finish the game in one video. It'll probably be really short, but whatever. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. We'll be back with the Mechanical Age next time. So I'll see you with that.